look at how to make a composite car wrap in Photoshop. Um, what I have here is the sedan image open uh, that I gave you. It's got two layers. It's got a just kind of the regular layer. I erased all the background and then it has a kind of an outline layer that's a little bit broken down. Um, what you may want to do is use the magic eraser tool and just kind of clean up some of the windows, which I did not do um, for you. So if you get on that layer, just click the magic eraser. We'll kind of get rid of that uh, the white inside there and make it look better. Um, so anywhere that you want. This layer is just kind of there in case we need to see a little bit of detail. Uh, later on, you can go so far as to do the wheels and stuff like that if you need to as well. But what we're going to do is we're going to work in between those two layers by making our own layers. Um, I want to turn this car into um, my what you could consider uh, your product. So it could either be your brand or the actual product itself. Uh, so I'm going to do a Kemar East one since I don't have a product, but it's going to look kind of like this uh, as I finish. And I need to add some words in the bulldog footprint and all that other stuff as we go on. But um, so I'll show you how to do that. So my layer here, I want to add the color. Uh, so I want that nice bright yellow. I was going to make the whole car kind of a yellowy color. So I'm just going to choose the color, click OK. And I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to fill it. So I'm going to fill my whole layer. Um, and right now it'll be on, I'll leave it on normal. And what you'll see is you'll see the, uh, the other layer on top. But basically if I get rid of that, it'll color in everything. It'll fill in the whole thing, which is bad. But it's easy to fix. We're going to turn that to a multiply layer so we can see through the yellow. Now everything has this kind of yellowish haze to it, which is okay. That's kind of what we're going to need. Um, and then I'm going to do something else. I'm going to take this and I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a clipping mask. And what that's going to do is since I have the background removed in the last one, is it's going to clip all the other stuff off. So it's going to trim out anything that's not the car, which is super easy for us. So we don't have to do it ourselves. Now what it does leave us though is the windows and things that are a little bit yellow and kind of weird looking. So the way we get rid of that is you click on the original layer underneath and use your direct selection tool or quick selection tool and just click on the window and it'll uh, you can select them. It may take a couple tries to get it to get recognize the whole thing because it's gradient there. And then I click on the layer and then I'm going to actually just make a mask out of that. Um, and it inverted it, so that's not good. But we can switch that by going to Properties and then Invert it. And now what you'll see is that it took away the, the window, the yellowy window color. So I can do the same thing. I go back to the next layer, click on this window and this window, and I can even click on the wheels. So with this, you kind of paint around the areas that you want to hide, and you can go back and do this later with a brush too, but I'm going to click on these things this is a little quicker and then I'm just going to um, click over to my layer and now I'm going to use the paint bucket and I'm going to set it on black and I'm just going to fill in those areas with my paint which I didn't take the paint bucket I'm going to take the paint bucket and fill in those areas and that's you see how to add little pieces to the mask um, so that's going to do the same kind of thing so I could take a paintbrush, as long as it's set on black. Remember, a mask kind of cuts things away, so it hides stuff. Uh, I have things selected right now, so I have to go to Select, Deselect, or Command-D. So I can paint right on that. So the, the tail lights shouldn't be, the headlights shouldn't be yellow. That would look weird. Um, the grill shouldn't be yellow. So I can go in and I can clean that stuff up manually if I want to. Uh, if I can't get it that way. So you want to make sure that the whole thing is not this weird tinted yellow this to it or whatever color you're using. So that's if you want it all one basic color. Now what I can also do is I can add color onto that too. So I can select an area. I can use like my polygon tool, my polygon lasso tool and I can just kind of click here and then I line up a nice straight line I can go around the edge because it's clipped. It doesn't really matter. If I go over, and I come back to the beginning. And now what I can do is I can put that in. If I'm on this layer, if I'm on not on the mask, but I'm on the actual yellow layer, what I can do, since it's on multiply though, is I really have to erase that. So I have to get rid of that color first. But actually, maybe not. Let's try it. I can use my paint bucket. And I can click and I can get my blue that I had roughly in that area. And I can fill that area in. 
So now the bottom half of my car is blue and it's still clipped. And I can select a new area to do the other car, the other half of the cars. You want to think about the whole thing. You want to try to be consistent. And I should probably start at the other end since that's where I started last time. So let's try that. I kind of started here. I did that part of the panel and then I went over here and then straight across to the tail light and down and around. And I don't really have to go around the well even of the wheel. I can just come right back. And I can do the same thing. Paint bucket, that blue and poof. Now, unfortunately, the wheels were not masked before, so I have to mask the wheels still. So, <clears throat> if I click back on my mask, and I deselect those things, because I masked it last time. So it's a little confusing in there what you're masking off, but if I mask this back off, so I'm painting on the mask layer now with the black, and you can see it's like a little cut out there and I can get rid of the yellow and I don't like the yellow under the car either. I don't know what happened there. I'm gonna hide that. Yellow under the shadow is kinda odd. So I can cut that part out too. So that's a really easy way to add some color to it. Um, if I want to add more things like decorations I'll create a new layer. Um, I've got my bulldog image that I had from before. It was way too big. Uh, but he's on his own layer now, so I can shrink him down, holding shift, and I want to put him on the, the hood, so he's going to be upside down in this case, and put him over here someplace. Okay, so I'm going to accept that. I'm going to do a couple things to him, though, because I want to get rid of that white border. I don't like the white border, so I have to rasterize him, because he's a PNG. So I'm going to get rid of the white border. I'm going to change the color of the purple to the blue that we had from before, which is this, so it looks a little darker there. Now if you notice, you can't really see the lines from the hood through there because it's just a normal layer. It's not a, it's not a multiply layer. If I do a multiply layer though, he's going to turn yellow. So I'm not quite ready for the multiply layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select him with my tool again, make sure I get everything. Last time I did this I missed his teeth, so I'm going to select him and then I'm going to click on the, um, the mask one more time and I'm going to hit the paint bucket I'm going to fill that in underneath. So now when I turn him into a multiply layer you'll be able to see through it and he won't be yellow because I removed the color underneath him so if I get rid of that you can see that the color is gone. And if you'd like to clone out those A's and stuff that would be a terrific thing to do too. Uh, some of those are really awful and kind of in the way. I tried to take a lot of them out, but I missed a few. Uh, so you can use the clone stamp and hold down the option key and it gives you a target and just kind of go over them. Something that's equal. A little extra blop there. Same thing here. And also what works well on the lines, if you feel like getting rid of the lines, is the healing brush. A little band-aid. You just kind of click on that in each section and it'll get rid of those lines. It makes it a little less distracting. Also if you have little lines here, like this that aren't really that smooth you can do the healing brush and it'll take care of that for you too. Okay so basically all you have to oops don't want to print. I wanted to zoom out if I wanted to do. Um, so if I show those layers back again you kind of get the idea of what's happening. Now if I put the other layer on top you can see a little more detail but it still has the white stuff that isn't masked out so um, or isn't uh, erased, so you can play around with that if you want. If you need that detail or not, uh, totally up to you. So the trick is to do a clipping mask and then to use a, a, a layer mask so that you're blocking out parts of it. And I do the whole color fill. Uh, I can show you the whole color fill. I disable that for a time. And you can see that the colors are blue and yellow on this page. And then the mask has all the stuff blocked out that we don't want. And this, uh, this is optional. Some of them, it, it, some of the vehicles that I gave you, you may need this, some of them you, you may not. It all depends on how you look at it. Okay, so I want you to think about all the sides. Um, so the, for this, I, since I've got this bottom part blue, I have to figure out, uh, I have to do the same thing here. I have to make these things blue in the front and the back. So I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to go onto um, my yellow here area, and I'm going to, actually I'm going to go on this. 
Sorry, I'm going to go into this and I'm going to select that area with my quick selection tool. And I've got too much of it, it looks like. So I'm going to try again. And you can let go of this one and you can re-click on things. And I'm going to do this part over here as well since it's right next to it. And then I'm going to use my paint bucket and I'm going to click blue. Oh, it's green. Because I have it in the wrong layer, that's why I'm on this. I didn't switch to my color layer. Now I'm using my paint bucket and that turned that blue. And that, this one did not get masked off. This one did. That's okay. Uh, you can go into the mask layer and you can paint. It automatically changes notice to black because it remembers. And I can block out the parts that I wanted. I kind of like that part being white. Uh, take out this little reflector. Uh, I can take out the exhaust pipes so you can see those. Uh, the grill probably shouldn't be blue either. So I can be a little more accurate if I hold down the shift key. I can make nice straight lines. Uh, the nice part about the mask is if you're really goof it up, you just flip your colors around and you can go back and you can cover that up so you can sort of erase backwards. So like if I really wanted to put the window back in, I could paint over here and now it's not covering that area anymore. So I'm painting black uh, or white back onto the mask to kind of hide things or re-show them. So this is, I've got the wrong color, I'm trying to hide those. So that way we can see those a little bit better. Okay, so I'm trying to be consistent throughout. Um, I'll have to do the bumpers here as well and then the bumper up here too, but it's the same process. Selecting it on the first layer and then painting it on the color or possibly masking. And any text that I want to do, I want to do the same process. I'm going to make a new layer, um, but I'm going to put it up here, type in my text, put that wherever, the bulldog uh, footprint. I'm going to put the text on the side and so on. They can design my whole car that way. So uh, you get a lot of, I'm going to hide that yellow that's sticking out over there and then the blue that's sticking out over here. Like I said, it's part of the car. The yellow that's under the tires. I'm going to get rid of that stuff because it's ugly. Weird yellow shadows. So that's basic it. You need a few different layers. I would recommend as many as for each item uh, on its own separate layer. And then using the mask and the direct selection tool and the paint bucket, you can color it in. Alright, we'll have more in class.